No, no, no. We don't What's up, guys? What's going on? No, hey, what are you doing here? Well, I just thought I'd stop by and see if you had anything new. Well, I've actually been expecting you. I got a few new guns for you. I know you ain't got one of these. This is a 460 Weatherby Magnum. Well, I already have one of those. You got that, huh? All right. Well, how about this here? A 416 Rigby. Yeah, I got that too. I bet you ain't got one of these. A 500 Nitro Express. Got it. Of course you got that. Well, I know you don't got this one. Just got this in. A 600 Nitro Express. Good solid gun too. Good lockup, good barrels, and it's only blown up twice. Oh, wow. What? What? No, what did you just say? Huh? You said it's only blown up twice? No, I said you've been outside, the weather's nice. By the way, have you seen our 20 millimeters? Hey! What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. Here recently I shot a zombie torso with quite the spread of elephant guns, the newest of which was the 600 Nitro Express. I asked you if you wanted to see a little more of that gun and you said absolutely. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's go check this thing out and get started. So here it is, the newest addition to my elephant gun collection, one that I've been looking for for a while because they're really hard to find. The 600 Nitro Express double barrel elephant rifle. This thing is an absolute monster. This used to be as big as you could get when it comes to hunting dangerous game. Then the 700 Nitro came around, but it's not far behind the 700 Nitro. The 700 Nitro shoots a 70 caliber, 1000 grain projectile, and this is a 60 caliber, 900 grain projectile. So it is no slouch. There's not really a whole lot I can tell you about it other than it's beautiful, it's mean, and it's gonna kick the absolute snot out of me. Very excited to shoot it. Let's go get set up and get started. But before Scott gets started with today's video, let me tell you about today's sponsor. If you conceal carry a gun, you need concealed carry insurance and you need to check out the USTA. It's the USCCA. That's what I said. No, that's not what you said. No, I said that. You said the USTA. It's USCCA. Try it again. All right, I'll do it again. No, I said that. If you need concealed carry insurance, you need to check out the USPA. It's the USCCA. Darn it, I said that. That's not what you said. No, I'm hearing, I heard, I said USCCA. Just try it again, it's no big deal. Okay, I'll do it one more time, that's it. Okay, I got somewhere to go. <clears throat> if you need concealed carry insurance, then you need to check out the USDA. It's the USCCA. No, I said USCCA. You said the USDA, Bob. That's like beef and stuff. No, that's not what I said. It's USCCA, try it again. No, I think you're messing with me. You know what, you just do it yourself. I ain't doing it. You don't gotta get mad about it, where are you going? Links in the description to whatever. Come on. Whatever he said. Bob. Before we get started, let me show you the 600 Nitro Express compared to some other rounds and things that you may be familiar with. This is a Nerf dart. This is a tube of chapstick. This is 308, 30 06, 300 Winchester Magnum, 338 Lapua. This is a three inch 12 gauge shell. This is the 500 Nitro Express. That's a 570 grain projectile. And then this, is the 600 Nitro Express 900 grain bullet. So first I have two steel targets set up. We're gonna take one shot at each steel target, but first we gotta get loaded up. <laughs> okay, we will shoot at the target on the left first. Golly! Dude, that has so much recoil. All right, now let's take a shot at that right target. <laughs> Dude, this thing is a monster. So as you can see, there's a pretty good reason why 600 Nitro used to be Top dog, uh, that thing is not playing around. It knocked those steel targets down 
with some authority. And those were soft points. Look at that. I would not want to be that steel target. Even with a soft point, there is a dent in that steel. And that's AR-550. <laughs> you know, after further inspection, it looks like we, uh, we broke our target stand. <laughs> a new record. So first up today, I have a five gallon jug of water slash some ice because it's been cold. It's been like 20 degrees and today it's like 60. That's Kentucky weather for you. And then I have a 3A piece of body armor that's rated up to 44 Magnum. I don't expect it to stop the 600 Nitro, but we're going to give it a shot anyways. Okay, this time we have a 900 grain Full metal jacket. You just got jammed. So uh, something really interesting just happened. <laughs> I have the worst luck with giant firearms. Okay, so the uh, round went off, but it did not burn the powder well for some reason. And so now we have a bullet lodged in this barrel. So you can see the light through that barrel but there's no light through that barrel. So that's why it's always good to check your firearm after something weird happens, because if you had a squib like that and then I loaded another one in there and pulled the trigger, well, we all know what would have happened. <laughs> so unfortunately, I do not have a rod out here with me to get that round out of there, but I still have one good barrel that doesn't have a round lodged in it. So what I'm gonna do is take this shell casing place it in the right barrel so that I know that this one is a no-no. We'll load another full metal jacket into the left barrel and hope that this one fires. Okay, let's see if we get a boom this time. There we go. Okay, so we had a good hit on our body armor and it blew right through it. And here's our first water jug and it's completely destroyed. And then we have our second water jug and it blew completely through that one also. But you didn't know I knew karate. My buddy Wonder Boy, he'd be impressed with that. Hey! Up next, we're gonna test out the penetration power of the 600 Nitro Express with these four inch cinder blocks. Just being extra safe since one of our barrels has a squib in it. I don't want to take any chances. There we go. So, tore up the first block, busted through the second block, so that's like eight inches of concrete. Ow! Did a little damage to that one, but we did not break through it. Up next, I got some eggplant, but I'm not even gonna shoot them because nobody likes egg. Plant! Ah! Fatality. Flawless victory. All right, up next, we got some hominy. And we got some nacho cheese. And I don't want to hear a word out of you because you know what kind of cheese this is. Nacho cheese. was pretty eventful and I think we busted up every single can. This last one though, you definitely tell it was slowing down. This is pretty disgusting. 
But this last thing I have to shoot takes the cake. It is, it's really gross. So last, <laughs> I have two five gallon buckets of sour cream. Now that sounds disgusting on its own, but let me explain a little further. Somebody gave me these to shoot and I forgot that I had them. These have been sitting in my house for four months. These are supposed to be in a refrigerator and they've been in my house at room temperature for four months and I have 10 gallons of this. It's gonna be disgusting. Okay, well, this is gonna be awful. This is when I wish we had TV screens so advanced that you could smell what I smell. Here we go. Can't smell it yet, because the wind is blowing that way, but let's go have a whiff. Oh, it's leaking. Oh, it's like water. Oh, oh, look at, it's all like, what would you even call it? It's like curdled, it's like big clots of it. Ew. All right, I gotta do it. <coughs> no. <laughs> I think I might actually throw up. That is absolutely disgusting. Oh gosh. I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Like, I don't wanna touch that. So last, I wanna see how much energy is being transferred into my body when I'm shooting the 600 Nitro. So I'm gonna take one more shot with it, have the slow-mo camera focused on me and see just how bad it is. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. What did you think about the 600 Nitro Express? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. You're definitely gonna be seeing more of it in future videos. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, do me a favor and give it a like, and if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you wanna pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>